Hey, and welcome to another edition of Froggy Tea Time. This is your weekly reading for this, and I will be doing the financial reading right after this, so they will be uploaded back to back for your convenience. Timestamps will be down below as usual. Your choices today for this week are Oscar, Barney, and Chachki. And as always, I will be doing a Rebel Deck pull. So for those of you who do not like the profanity in this deck or at all with that type of language, please feel free to always skip the ending message and know that I love you. And thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my videos. If you are new here and you are just finally seeing my videos for the first time, feel free to consider subscribing if you like these types of videos. And please also feel free to go through my playlist and binge watch all to your heart's content. Thank you guys so much. Without further ado, we are going to jump right in with Oscar. Alrighty, so for my loves who have picked Oscar, let's see what we get for your weekly theme, okay? To start off, we have the hourglass. Time is of the essence. We have fire. Reckless actions lead to conflict. The spirit unseen forces watch over you and the star a long journey brings rewards so with these cards i feel like for this week time is going to feel like it's dragging ass this week sorry about the profanity but that's exactly what i'm getting with this i feel like time is going to be very drawn out and long this week so if you feel the need that you need to rush please know that it's not really a wise thing to do this week and to take your time to cross your T's or yeah, cross your T's and dot your I's with any kind of paperwork that comes up this week. And also with any other situations to make sure that you have all the full detail and information that you need for that. We also have for the un un yeah, unseen forces watch over you. Know that spirit is helping you along the way this week and that you will be having messages this week as well from them as usual. And that <clears throat> this week is all about learning a lot of lessons as well, is what I'm getting from this star card with the um, long journey brings rewards. So I feel like this week, it, the reason for the time lag or the feeling like it's kind of taken its time this week, it's all about the lessons that you're learning this week, okay? And then for some extra guidance, we have skull of light illumination so i feel like we're also going to be having some aha moments from these lessons once we finally figure out what they are during the week we have mummy change there's going to be a lot of changes this week i feel coming in for some of those some of you guys out there okay and i feel like even though it's unknown now i feel like everything will unravel in time and then we have jacqueline and protection so i feel like you're also um, pretty guarded and well protected this week as well but know that it's okay to let that guard down just a little bit from time to time when it is needed we have hearth happiness is in our hearts and homes so spending some time at home is going to be much needed as well for re rest and relaxation and self-care this week so let's see what we have for overview messages of love for this week for you guys from the tarot we have fine balance I feel like there needs to be an equal balance and give and take between the head and heart. And I feel like there will be some new relationships coming in as well because I'm really attracted to this and that it's about time I get for some of you guys out there. We have base chakra. This is all about the physical and sexual out there. And I'm just giving you what I'm getting on that. But the base chakra is a lot of sexual energy, so I feel like if there's some sexual tension, it's about time that somebody needs to uh, do what they need to do <laughs> and put some passion back into their love life. Then we have spread your wings. And oh, that shouldn't have been in reverse because it wasn't in reverse when I laid it down. But the ace of wands and spread your wings. So definitely with new relationships coming in this week, I feel like it's going to be a very passionate week as well for those relationships that have just kicked off and congratulations to those that have. And I also feel like some new beginnings are definitely coming in for you. And finally, and it's also going to be all about that journey, like I said, and taking a journey together with this. Some healing messages for the heart. 
and any other um, oracle guidance that we have, we have sexual arts. No wonder we had base chakra come up and I said sexual energy this week. A lot of um, fiery passion this week in most of you guys' relationships for those who are currently involved in a relationship and also those who are currently going to be embarking on a new relationship. For my singles out there, I feel like it's going to be a lot of creative passion and energy and a lot of aha moments coming in for you. And that you're going to love what you're doing this week. We have help from above. Goes back to being um, protected. With what I said earlier this week, your guides are watching your backs and um, protecting you this week emotionally and as well as physically as usual. But know that it's mostly emotionally and they are helping you heal with anything that has broken your heart recently for those out there that have um, had a recent breakup. We also have discover your life purpose. I feel like with this, um, the journey this week is also... A with all this learning and the lessons, I feel like it's part of your life purpose um, this week. And we have beauty. So some self-care is always needed and always asked for, as you guys know. But I know that you guys sometimes don't always feel that oomph. I know I do. But it's what's most needed this week and called for. So, and then I also feel like watch out for those who have that slick tongue who like to talk a lot of crap and gossip know that you're all right you're beautiful and no matter what they say don't let it ruin your image or tarnish your feelings about yourself all right and then we have for the tea for the week from the alice in wonderland cards we have curiouser and curiouser discovery inquiry weirdness and curiosity so definitely a lot of um self journey this week and a lot of curiosity is what i'm really feeling from this card with exploring new things especially as well as um those who have just gotten into the relationships like i was saying earlier with exploring and getting to know your partners and them getting to know you vice versa we have investigate look closely ask questions think before acting so that goes back to the beginning cards with don't act so hasty this week and try to rush into things think before you act and also look before you leap is what i'm hearing i also feel like there's some a lot of new beginnings and things are just finally about to crack and open up so that you can finally see what's up and <clears throat> reap the benefits of whatever it is that you've been trying to create and grow and manifest this week find the lesson lots of lessons this week in this journey and over the time period with all that time that's um kind of lagging this week for us we have discover the purpose in a situation trust that you are learning so with this i feel like there's definitely some much needed lessons that need to be learned but also lessons of truth with this and also I feel like some of you will be finding out the truth about something that someone had told you a while ago because I'm really attracted to this little girl kind of almost whispering into her ear and the blue in her dress so if you are finding out truths that were hidden from you before try not to act so rash and freak out and jump into the situation remember get all the details first and all that information that you most need okay before you head into that conversation with whoever or whatever that truth was about. Alrighty. These are your messages. Stay tuned for the ending Rebel Deck messages. And thank you so much for joining me this week. Alrighty. So for my loves who chose Barney this week, let's see what we get for your theme for the week with the Oracle cards. So we have the shield you are safe from harm. Lots of protection this week for you guys. And then we have the knight, triumph over adversity. And we have the oracle, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So with this, I feel like you guys are divinely protected. And also, if you have any questions this week to seek out people who may know the answers that might have all that information that's most needed for you that have like kind of like a background in what it is that you're curious about or have questions about especially if it's job related and then for school related i feel like any research topics 
word of mouth is going to be quite interesting for you this week, as well as um, finding out these answers with the journey during the week and that you will have a lot of success with getting the answers that you most need for that this week. We have scrying intuition. Follow your intuitive ideas that are coming in for you because they are divinely guided and listening to your intuition is always best, as we always say, because you know best. We have midnight, the most magical hour of all. So for my night owls out there, I feel like this is going to be an interesting week for you at your nightly jobs. And I also feel like a lot of sleepless nights may be entailing this week for some of you out there. And if that's the case, I feel like you will also have your most divinely guided ideas at that time for inspiration for what you most need. We have ghosts with regret. I feel like you don't need to hold on to regrets, especially with whatever's keeping you up at night. I feel like it's a time to let everything go because it's all... Um, falling through because I feel like even though she's see-through I feel like it's kind of like a falling through type of thing and letting things go we have spider community and web weaving so that goes back with what I was saying earlier about those projects with word of mouth and seeking out that information and research for you guys out there everything is connected and will work out in divine timing as usual even though this week may feel like a little bit draining and a little bit long I feel like things will work out perfectly we have rest and reconsider for the tarot guidance. With this, I feel like with those who are having sleepless nights, I feel like it's definitely going to be a week for you to try as much as you can to get as much rest as you can to make it through this week so that you aren't so sluggish at work or during your day so that you can get things that you need to do done. We have master. With this, I feel like it's mastering your emotional emotions during those um nightly hours that are keeping you up at night over whatever happened for you emotionally as well as physically but i feel like it's also a time that you are going to learn the most of what you do and what you don't want in love and also learn how to free your hearts so that no one has complete control of you I have challenging times. Yes, these are some challenging times I feel coming in for you guys, but it's okay to be a little bit guarded and um, keep that guard up so that people cannot um, walk over you or kind of take you as a pushover or even um, take advantage of you. I feel like there's also going to be a lot of um, quick messages coming in this week with success and growth because this is the Eight of Wands in this deck. I feel like there's going to be a lot of learning and that you're going to get this information quite quickly that you most need right now. And also I hear hearing from um, ex-lovers from the past. So be prepared for that. For our love guidance, we have alchemy. I feel like for those who have just finally gotten into a um, divine connection, I feel like there's a lot of chemistry. And I also feel like if you have a crush out there, for those of you who aren't, aren't currently in a relationship that there is definitely some chemistry that you have your eye on someone Ooh, try and go for it speak up or forever hold your peace we have procrastination don't waste your time on those that can't be honest with you okay especially with these messages that are coming in from um an ex don't waste your time on it okay i feel like they're just blowing smoke up your up your rears, up your ass, whatever, however you want to take it. I feel like they're just wasting your time just to check in and see if they have a hold over you. So please don't waste your time on them. If that happens this week, I know it's tempting with the temptation card, especially because I'm attracted to this um, ghostly image of a man from the, her past. It That's all it is, is whatever you are tempted by is the person from the past and they are not that same person remember that people change during times of separation if you feel though that you cannot um that you feel like um how do i put this if you feel like you really need to explore that avenue once more because you feel like things have been left undone or unsaid then by all means go ahead and explore those avenues but Please remember that they could also be wasting your time just to do whatever they did before. We have have faith. Believe in yourself more than anything else this week. 
and know that you're walking in the right direction and doing what's right for you and have that inner strength for you, okay? Believe in yourself always. What's the tea for the week? From our Alice in Wonderland tea cards, we have follow your own good advice. What did I just say with that? Follow your own intuition. Have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. Know that what you are doing is right. And that your thoughts and actions that you have been currently taking are actually leading you in the right direction and in divine timing. And it will bring things in a little bit easier for you that you've been trying to manifest. But use your time well and make every moment count. We have mortality. Life is brief, bright, um, beautiful, and yours to live. We only live once, most people say, but I, then we have the reincarnation of things, <laughs> which I do believe in. But either way, live each moment as if it might have been your last and have fun and see the beauty in every one of those moments and know that you are beautiful as well. These are your messages for the week. Please feel free to stay tuned for the Rebel Deck messages at the end and know that I love you. Alrighty, for my love suit chose Chashki, let's see what we get for an overview theme of the week, okay? We have Medusa. Jealousy leads to downfall. Earth, utilize logic, reason, and common sense. And then we have the siren. Temptation may lead you astray. So with this, I feel like using common sense and not giving in to jealous temptation this week is much needed. Because having these jealous feelings is going to cause you to have a lot more lack than a lot more um, abundance is what I'm getting with this. And also gossip leads you nowhere except for lonely. So please... Remember to use common sense and logic. And anyone who is spilling that stupid ass toxic gossip for you, they need to go. Boy, bye. Bye, Felicia. That type of deal. They need to go. Whoever that toxic person is, it's in your life right now. So let's see what else we got. We have the lamp, remembrance. We have winter. This... Hmm. The sacredness of pausing. So take time to remember those who have um, passed is what I'm getting with this. And also to remember the good times and celebrate their lives is what I'm getting from these. So for whoever that is out there, you do have my deepest condolences. And then we have ancestors. The love, <clears throat> the love and legacy of of our DNA and we have cauldron synergy and healing so I feel like this is definitely a time of healing this week for those of you who have lost someone or have also ended a recent relationship this is a time of healing and taking the time to remember all the good times instead of the bad and to go within and to also focus on healing your heart and know that these things may have ended for a reason so that something better can come in for you if it was a love relationship okay we have heal. Lots of healing this week for you guys, for those who have chose Chashki. With this, I feel like it's finally breaking free of old past hurts and getting rid of those toxic energies, like I was saying earlier with that. Because you have a well-deserved well reward coming in for you this week, which is always that something better. And that these things that happened were blessings in disguise for you this week. What did I say? New love coming in, well-deserved reward, someone better is coming in to finally give you that spark and that creative energy and renew your sense of love and hope this week. So that's an awesome week coming up this, for you guys. We have take off your masks. Don't be afraid to be yourselves and to be completely and authentic with whoever this new person is that's coming in for you this week, alrighty? As well as in general, do not be afraid to be yourselves. Know that you are awesome and amazing just as you are, no matter what. And there is no need for you to hide who you are. Because I feel like it gives you a sense of lack, especially if you have to hide and be shy and hold back. Because we have victim consciousness. There's no need for any of that. It doesn't, it doesn't do you any good. And we have soulmate. And love. Lots of love for y'all this week. Mm. Y'all gonna have a good week. It looks like it. I know these images in this card look a little bit. Uh, 
sad, but I feel like a really good positive energy with new love coming in. And definitely this person will be a new soulmate for you. And I feel like you will definitely both feel it and have that strong and amazing connection. Let's see what we get for the tea cards from Alice in Wonderland. We have changed in the night. You have changed quickly. So I feel like all of this healing that you've done recently or are still doing right now, it's definitely given you some positive changes and given you a better outlook on yourself for what you do and what you don't want in love so that you can finally have that divine soulmate that you've been eagerly wait awaiting and wanting and absolutely 100% deserve. A moment's regret. We have nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. So with this, just remember what they, the past has you know, brought you and taught you because you've definitely learned from it. Remember those lessons that you've learned because it's what you don't want and what you do want now is completely different because you've learned from these lessons. And then we have follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. So with whoever is piquing your interest this week, definitely take that opportunity to try and say hello and get to know them. I have a feeling it's gonna be a great week for you guys. Thank you guys so much for choosing um, to watch this video and know that I love you for those who don't stick around for the Rebel Deck messages. And without further ado, let's jump into those, shall we? I really, really love this and I felt drawn to use the Rebel Deck from, or the Couples Rebel Deck this week. So let's see what we get for messages for some cheeky guidance for you guys this week, okay? shuffle three times oh. that's it We have irritated, listen, and have sex. <laughs> well, that couldn't be a more forward and direct message for the week for everybody. So with the irritated card, we have eat, cuddle, sleep, repeat. That's some sound advice in itself. So that way you can be less irritated or less frustrated this week for how long things are taking. <laughs> For those who picked um, Oscar, we have Listen. For those who picked Barney, we have You Still Don't Fucking Get It. So with this, I feel like whoever's been um, trying to get your attention and tell you something, it's for a reason to help you out this week. So listen a little bit closer and a little bit careful, even if they're kind of beating a dead horse. It's for your benefit. And then we have Have Sex <laughs> for Chachki. <laughs> Oh my God, do you really need a card for this? Seriously, y'all. <laughs> Especially because of your reading that goes perfect with each of these. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I can't even right now. <laughs> this one. Oh, self-explanatory. Have fun. I love you guys. I hope you guys all have an amazing week. And thank you guys so much for tuning in, liking and subscribing and sharing my videos. And for those of you who are new here, please do consider subscribing if you like this um, type of video and you've enjoyed your time here with me. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day.